good evening students today we are going to learn the quadratic equation statement problems based on speed and distance so by from your physics you would have already learned distance is equal to speed into time so from you know how we get the time distance divided by speed time is equal to distance divided by speed so in this class we are going to use this formula and we are going to solve this distance formula sum and one of the sum surely you will get for your exam so please try to understand clearly go through it and try to solve it first sum a bus covers a distance of 240 km at a uniform speed due to day its speed gets reduced by 10 km per hour and as such it takes 2 hours longer to cover total distance so when speed reduces time increases assuming the speed x km per hour form an equation and solve for x here they have given assume the speed x km per hour so we will write let speed of bus let the speed of bus x km per hour what is distance given for you given distance 240 km so we know by our formula time is equal to distance divided by speed which i can write as 240 divided by x make it as first equation now they have given due to heavy rain its speed gets reduced reduced means what it decreased so now decreased speed is x minus 10 km per hour we have assumed as x now the speed decreased so we write it as x minus 10 for the same distance 240 therefore time is equal to 240 divided by x minus 10 distance divided by speed now they have given when the speed decreases the difference of hours it takes 2 hours longer to cover the total distance so what happens the difference between the time is 2 hours i can write now 240 divided by x minus 10 this time minus 240 by x is equal to 2 hours now you may have a doubt why ma'am this fraction you have written first why not this fraction no it's a logical thinking when speed decreases time increases so this time is more and this time is less so the difference between the two time is 2 hours so are you able to understand why we are writing this fraction here when the speed decreases time increases so this time is more than this time so we write like this now when you take lcm x into x minus 10 i can see in the numerator 240 is common i will take it out so i have x minus of x minus 10 is equal to 2 now i will remove the bracket x and minus x get cancel i have 240 multiplied by positive 10 divided by x squared minus 10x is equal to If I cross multiply, this two can be written as two by one. So two thousand four hundred is equal to two x squared minus twenty x. So I can rewrite into the general form of quadratic two x squared minus twenty x minus two thousand four hundred is equal to zero. I can see two as a common factor. If I simplify x squared minus ten x. Minus thousand two hundred is equal to zero. Now, by splitting the middle term, I can clearly see this is x minus forty, x plus thirty equal to zero. Minus forty plus thirty is minus ten. Minus forty multiplied by plus thirty is thousand two hundred. Therefore, x will become forty and minus thirty. What is x for us? X is. consider speed of the bus is x km now we got x to be 40 and minus 30 so the speed cannot be negative therefore x the speed 
of bus we have considered x kilometer per hour is 40 kilometer per hour this is what we should find i'll repeat the sum they have given distance 240 and first it has been in the speed reduced to 10 kilometer then the speed becomes reduced so the difference between the time will become 2 hours so we assume that the speed of the bus is x kilometer given distance 240 so using the formula time distance divided by speed 240 by x next they have given the speed is decreased by 10 kilometer so it will become x minus 10 now what will be the time for the same distance 240 divided by x minus 10 then the difference between these two time is 2 hours they have given it takes 2 hours longer so 240 divided by x minus 10 minus 240 by x is equal to 2 hours so how we are writing fraction first and this fraction second that is when the speed decreases time increases so this 240 divided by x minus 10 as a more value than minus 240 by x so we write this fraction is equal to 2 and we simplify into the quadratic and by splitting the middle term we got x value is 1 is positive 1 is negative since we are dealing with the speed speed cannot be negative so we take the positive value at the speed of the x is 40 km per hour next up some school children went to an excursion at a distance of 300 km so given distance is equal to 300 km while returning speed of the bus reduced to 5 km per hour so let us assume now let speed of bus is x km per hour what is time formula now distance divided by speed which is 300 by x make it as first equation now they have given speed of the bus reduced so now speed reduced is 5 km so x minus 5 km per hour for the same distance 300 so time is equal to now 300 divided by x minus 5 so like last time you know now which time will be more this is speed with x here with the speed reduced x minus 5 so this time is more than the first time now they have given you to rain it took 2 hours longer so we will make it now 300 divided by x minus 5 minus 300 by x is equal to 2 so you are able to understand easily now when the speed reduces time increases so this equation comes first and this speed original speed time will become second equation the difference between the time is two hours now this you take lcm and simplify so we get now 300 is common we can rewrite as 1 by x minus 5 minus 1 by x is 2 when i take lcm now 300 x into x minus 5 so we have x plus of x minus 5 is equal to 2. Plus x minus x get cancelled minus of minus plus 5. So I have numerator 300 into 5 divided by x squared minus 5x is equal to 2 by 1. On cross multiplication we get 1500 is equal to 2x squared minus 10x. We can put it in that form 2x squared minus 10x minus 1500 equal to 0. Since 2 is a common factor, we can reduce to x squared minus 5x minus 750 equal to 0. By splitting the middle term, we can see for 5 as a sum and the product as 750. Easily we can see x minus 30 into x plus 25 equal to 0. Minus 30 plus 25 gives you minus 5. Product of minus 30 into 25 gives you minus 750. This gives you either x is equal to 30 or minus 25. Now what is x for as Speed. Speed bus is x kilometer. So speed cannot be negative. We will not consider this as your speed. Therefore x. What is x? Speed of the bus. 
speed of the bus is 30 km per hour. So, the question is, there was, you find the time taken to return also. So, we are finding the speed to be 30 km. So, what is the speed now? X is equal to 30 we got. What is time for us? Time is equal to, we have considered distance by speed from the first equation. So, what is distance for us from the first equation? Distance is 300 and the speed is 30. So, we get it as 10 hour. I will repeat once again. The time reduced here the given it is 300 kilometer distance. So, you assume x kilometer per hour 300 by x. So, the speed reduced will become x minus 5. So, you know when speed reduces time taken more. It is to 300 by x minus 5 minus 300 by x is 2. When we take LCM x into x minus 5 x minus of x minus 5. So, we have 300 minus x and plus x get cancelled plus 5. 300 into 5, 1500 and do the cross multiplication. 2x squared minus 10x, this will become minus 1500. When we have find 2 as a common factor, x squared minus 5x minus 750. We can see by splitting the middle term, x is equal to 30 and minus 25. So, speed of the bus cannot be negative. We consider positive term 30 km per hour. Here, the question not only the speed, you have to find time taken to return. We have to find time taken to return. So, what is time? Distance divided by speed. So, 300 divided by 30, which will give you 10 hour. Next one. Two trains leave a railway station at the same time. The first train travels due west and the second train due north. The first train travels 5 km faster than second train. So, let us assume now that second train speed. Let speed of second train. Let speed of second train is x km per hour. Therefore, speed of first train. It is given speed of first train. The first train travels 5 km per hour faster. So, this will become x plus 5 km per hour. So, we assume now that the speed of second train is x km per hour. So, speed of the first train is x plus 5 km per hour. Now, they have given you with some directions. Two trains leave a railway station at the same time. The first train travels due west and second train due north. So, we know by your map now, west, north and all, is it not? So, when you assume this as original position, this is north and this is west. They have given, the let's leave from here, same direction. The first train travels due west and second train travels due north. So, the first train travels 5 km faster than second train. If after 2 hours, so for us time is given as 2 hours. So, after 2 hours, the train will be from this position somewhere here. So, when you join this, they have given, they are 50 km apart. This, this hypotenuse is 50 km. You can see this as a right angle triangle. O, W, O, N are the two sides. 50 km is your hypotenuse. And the speed here is x kilometer and x plus 5 first train travels due west. This is first train. So, first train distance. You know what is the distance formula? Distance is speed into time. So, first train, our speed is x plus 5, 2 into x plus 5. So, distance is speed into time. Our time is 2, speed is x plus 5. And the second train travels due north. Second train we have assumed as x kilometer. For that also distance will become now time into speed. 2 into x. So, I will give you now. Therefore, O, W distance is time into speed. 2 into x plus 5 kilometer. Then we have 
O n distance. O n distance also time into speed, which is same to hour, but we have assumed as x kilometer. So we have found O w is two into x plus five. O n is two x, and this hypotenuse fifty kilometer is given. They are fifty kilometer apart. So we use now Pythagoras theorem. So we will have now O w squared. Plus O n squared is equal to W n squared. Sum of the squares of two sides is equal to hypotenuse square. So when we substitute now these values, two into x plus five, the whole square plus O n two x square is equal to W n is fifty square. Now we will try to solve this. When we solve, we get four into x plus whole squared is X squared plus twenty five plus ten x plus two x the whole square is four x squared fifty squared you know it as two thousand five hundred so when we simplify remove the brackets four x squared four into twenty five hundred four tens are forty x plus four x squared is equal to two thousand five hundred on simplification eight x squared plus forty x Plus two thousand four hundred equal to zero. Now we can easily say eight table is common. Eight is a factor. When we simplify, we get x squared plus five x minus three hundred equal to zero. We got a quadratic x squared minus three hundred equal to zero, which we can split it into x plus twenty x minus fifteen equal to zero. The sum of plus twenty and minus fifteen gives you plus five. Product of twenty into minus fifteen gives us minus three hundred. Gives us x is equal to minus twenty and plus fifteen. Again, we are dealing with the speed, so we cannot take minus twenty as our speed. Therefore, x is equal to fifteen. So we consider. Therefore, what is x? Speed of first train. Is equal to fifteen kilometer per. Hour. So the speed of the first train. Sorry, we have considered speed of second train is fifteen kilometer per hour. Therefore, speed of first train will become x plus five, which is twenty kilometer per hour. Now, shall I repeat for you? They have given. Train starts from at the same point. One travels in the west. One travels towards north. After two hours, they are fifty kilometer distance apart. So we assume like speed of the second train is x because they have given the condition. The first train travels five kilometer per hour faster than second train. So second train is x kilometer per hour. So first train will become x plus five kilometer per hour. They have given time is two hours. After two hours. Now, for you, they have given only speed and time. They have not given distance in this. So we use the distance is equal to time into speed formula. We find the distance. And when you see the diagram, you can see it looks like a right angle triangle. It is a right angle triangle. So we use Pythagoras theorem. Sum of the squares of two sides is equal to hypotenuse square, and we simplify the equation, and we get x to be one negative and positive. Since x is speed of the train, it cannot be a negative. So we take fifteen. What is fifteen? X speed of the second train we assumed as x, so fifteen kilometer per hour. So speed of the first train is x plus five, twenty kilometer per hour.